else and everything has been blessed and the wait is finally over. We got him on the show. Y'all been responding <laughs> to the song, Big Cutie. You know That's what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up with it, Red? Oh, uh, man. I ain't done, man, in the beard. And you're... What's up with man, it, What's up, sir? What's up, bro? How you living, man? I know it's been a minute. We both be working. You been all right, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I've been good, man. Grinding. Grinding. Oh, really? Already, man. So my first question up, man, you know, I like to take everybody through the same things because we want to let everybody know out there what type of mindset you have to make it. So real quickly, you know what I'm saying, let everybody out there know on Radio Land what really inspired you to want to hop into this rap game. You know, you got so many out there these days. What inspired mm -hmm. you to want to get on that pen and that pad and start hitting that booth? Oh, man, just, I mean, just being a, people, people telling me, you know, man, you need to take that serious. You know, my older partners, you know, I used to rap with them or whatever, and they was telling me, man, you need to really take that serious. I don't know if y'all know them. Uh, they go by the name of NVR. They came out with Bobby V not too long ago. But um, okay. those were like my, those were like the people I looked up to, and you know they they kind of talking. About nine years old, I was really freestyling and stuff like that. By fourteen is when I actually started getting in the studio, you know, working at it, recording, you know what I'm saying, writing down and writing songs and all this. So I mean, just 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 seeing the impact my music had on different people, you know, kept me kept me straight and kept my head head in in that in that direction. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I got to say, man, I'm impressed, you know what I'm saying, first time out the blocks, coming out the gate, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, we definitely had your music here in rotation on the Icebreaker Radio Show, yeah, the album, yeah. that, that's, that's been my most requested, you know what I'm saying, thing to ask you tonight is, what is the name of the album, and when is it coming? Oh, man, the album ain't going to come for a little bit. Right now, we're working, like, in the streets, so, so right now, I'm working on my mixtape, Ready for Whatever, which will be coming out this month. Um, this is R E D D Y for whatever. So it'll be it'll be out this month. But right now for the album, I mean, when it get ready to come out, we're gonna have some big, big, big stuff, you know, way bigger than what you hearing now. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be way bigger than that. But right now we just basically work in the streets, which is, you know, mixtapes, mixtape after mixtape. So if somebody wanna go pick up a mixtape right now, where can they go get it from? Uh, right now you can hit up DJ Ware, her uh the Hustle and Grind Volume thirteen, which I hosted. Um, it's out now. You can go look that up. Go Google that. I mean, you should have no problem with finding it. But um, right now, yeah, that's where you can go. Where her, where her, got got a house for you because he he, you know, he's like my DJ. He kind of kind of helped me as well as you know, Tuss and all them a part of my team. And so, no, you can go look up. Uh, type in Hustle and Grind Volume Thirteen. That's the one I hosted. Go check that out. They got a couple tracks. Um, I did. So just go check that out. Okay. Ready for whatever. Fit, fit, fit. Ready for whatever be the mixtape though. Ready for whatever be the mixtape I do. You know, with just me, straight me. You know, straight, most of the songs on there are just me. I got a couple features which Dick Cutie, the one with me and Webby, the uh, Go Head, the one with Young Black will be on there, uh, and, and a couple more features will be on there. But you know, overall it's just me. Okay. Okay. Now, now you were talking about your crew and everybody that you're down with. Uh, what label are you with exactly, or, or 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 what brand, or who do you associate yourself with? Oh, uh, I associate myself with Club T Events, Mouthpiece Entertainment. You know, uh, my whole team or whatever. That's that's the team right now, though. Club T Events, Mouthpiece Entertainment, DJ Wire. Okay, now now for a lot of those that don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because you definitely took a different approach with your music. I mean, we're definitely, you know, have been supporters of the you know, D-Town Boogie music and everybody that has success, but that's not the approach that it appears that you're taking with your music. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I know the song Thick Cutie is definitely something that people can, can vibe to in the club, but as an artist, what is it that you plan to bring to this rap game? I plan to bring something on what y'all been hearing. Y'all been hearing, you know, a lot of people say, oh, that's how they do is dance, and, you know, how they, you know, I don't knock that. I'm not going to sit up and say, oh, you know, I don't, them niggas, I don't, I don't kick it with them. I mean, you know, how they do is dance. I mean, because if they making money off of it, most have to them. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, I'm more like a real approach, more like a telling a story, because, I mean, I'm 17, if y'all didn't know, but I'm 17 and just, <laughs> The reason I rap the way I rap is because, I mean, I experienced a lot of things earlier than what you're supposed to experience, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just got a story to tell, you know what I'm saying? I don't right. want to just make it. Big Cutie is not probably going to be the only song. It's, it's not going to be. All my songs ain't going to be about 
dance at the club, you know, I, the album. I want some. I won't be able to, somebody to be able to put my album in and just ride without turning it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I remember the first time I had that feeling, man, when I popped the CD in, and and it was actually a tape, man. I'm 31, so I'm I'm a little bit from the old school, man. I mm-hmm. I uh, I remember the feeling that I had when I heard that first Chronic. You know, and I was like, man, this thing is actually jamming from beginning to end. You know, and then I was yeah. like, okay, well, this is the type of artist that I'm looking for. So I definitely it shows your maturity as an artist to even make a statement like that. You know, anybody can come out and grab a feature and go buy a track from the hottest producer and certify. But not many people actually strive to make that CD that people jam from beginning to end. So, Ham, what's your what, what's your take on that, man? About artists that just try to do you know, what I call bubblegum rap, you know. Bubblegum <laughs> rap, I mean I mean people call it people call it bubblegum rap, but I mean they they make they make money off of it so I can't knock it. I mean I, I don't feel like I don't feel like I can make an album off of just straight club music as if they you know, as if which a lot of people a lot of artists I don't think can make a, a um a album off off of club music, but at the same time I mean I can't knock it. I mean they make money off of it so well, right, if you remember, right, chosen right. like chosen when we when 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 we first talked on the show, um, if you remember, I told you Red was young. I told you he was like seventeen, eighteen, and I told you I said, but this young man's ahead of his time. Like, 